Well, good morning. It's uh, 1035 and we're going to go ahead and get started right on time. Welcome to all of you that have joined us on Zoom and everyone that's on the YouTube live channel. It's uh, wonderful to have you with us uh, this morning. My name is Nader Nadershahi, and I have the privilege of serving as Dean of the University of Pacific's Arthur A. Degoni School of Dentistry. And it gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome you all to today's virtual ceremony on behalf of the faculty, staff, students, alumni, patients, um, on behalf of the entire Degoni School family. It's great to see all of you here. So today is an important milestone and a symbolic step in the journey for our outstanding dental hygiene students. They've worked incredibly hard to reach this point. You're all making history today by being part of the very first virtual white coat ceremony that, uh, that we've held. So uh, it's, it's great to uh, be a part of that special moment with all of you. And while we're unable to gather in person like we always do, it's really great to be able to gather in, in, in this virtual format online and to celebrate and honor all of our students. So as a uh, Dagoni School graduate myself, I still remember the very first patient that I treated in the clinic. I, I remember the patient's name. I remember what he came in for, what his chief concern was, uh, just like it was yesterday. And um, I hope that all of you and your, your interactions with your patients are going well as you transition into the clinical phase of your um, experience here with us. So a little background about how the tradition of the white coat ceremony was started. The white coat has served as the preeminent symbol of healthcare providers for over a hundred years now. At the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th centuries, when medicine became a truly scientific enterprise, the pureness of medicine became reflected in the garb of the doctors and nurses and all of the providers. The white coat became the symbol of medical authority and respect as advance upon advance firmly established a patient provider relationship as a beneficial encounter. The first full fledged white coat ceremony in medicine took place in 1993 at the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons. However, the very first white coat ceremony in a dental school started with, you can all guess where it started. Well, it started right here with uh, the Dagoni School of Dentistry. It started with us here back in the mid 1990s. During that time, our um, Dean Emeritus, Dr. Arthur A. Degoni was visiting a medical school at the University of Minnesota where they were holding their white coat ceremony. And he was so touched and moved by the emotional event that he brought the idea back to the leadership here at the Degoni School and it's become a tradition ever since. And I'm so proud that we're continuing to hold this event and that it's a part of every, just about every dental school across the country now. So um, you're a part of a very long and special tradition. So students, the white coats that you receive today signify to patients that you will strive to regard them with the utmost respect, that you will treat their illness to the best of your ability, you will listen carefully, and you will preserve the dignity of each individual and the privacy of the information that's shared as a result of the relationship between caregiver and patient. It means too that you're expected to conduct yourself in a manner consistent with those in your chosen profession, not simply as a student practicing as you learn. So wear your white coats with pride and accomplishment that it signifies, but also with humility and respect for what you have yet to learn from the dental professionals who were here before you, as well as from all of your patients. And to all the families and significant others and friends online with us today, these outstanding young men and women wouldn't be here without the love and support and encouragement that you have given them and you continue to give them. So thank you for what you continue to do to help them be their very best. So for our program today, we're honored to have some uh, distinguished guests and members of the faculty and administration that I'd like to uh, introduce to you. So as we, um, as we, as we go through, you can give a, give a wave. We'll, uh, we'll spotlight each of you as, as we, uh, we go through here. So, First, we'll start with uh, Dr. Nava Fati, Regent, former president of the Alumni Association and member of our foundation board. Thank you for being here. Mr. Gary Mitchell, Regent, former president and current member of our foundation board. Professor Lori Lauder, director of our dental hygiene program. You'll hear from her later. Professor Chris Nuko, first year clinical coordinator. Ms. Darla Dale, president of the California Dental Hygiene Association. Ms. Cara Bell, Assistant Dean for Human Resources and Support Operations and Campus Director. 
Dr. Des Gallagher, Associate Dean for Clinical Services and Chair of the Department of Clinical Oral Health Care. Dr. Cindy Lyon, Associate Dean for Oral Health Education. Dr. David Ogis, Assistant Dean for Research and Chair of the Department of Biomedical Sciences. Mr. Edward Pergueros, Assistant Dean of Budget and Financial Administration. Mr. Ray Bell Ramos, Assistant Vice President for San Francisco Campus and Technology Services. Mr. Dan Soini, Director of Marketing and Communications. Dr. Craig Yarbrough, Associate Dean for Institutional Advancement and Director of the Center for Success. Dr. Alan Budenz, Professor, Department of Biomedical Sciences and Vice Chair, Department of Diagnostic Sciences and also chair of our Dental Faculty Council and president of our Alumni Association. Thank you for being here, Dr. Bredenz. Ms. Joanne Fox, director of our Alumni Association. And I'd also like to thank all the members of our dental hygiene faculty for their dedication and passion to teaching and mentoring our dental hygiene students. Thank you to all of you that are, that are here with us on the Zoom and those uh, that are watching. The students would not be here without your dedication and uh, hard work. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank our Alumni Association represented today by Dr. Alan Budenz and Ms. Joanne Fox. The alumni support students in many ways during their education and have co-sponsored the White Coats along with our Office of Development. So uh, thank you for what you continue to do for our students and our 8,000 plus alumni that are out there. Also, please join me in a special thanks to Colleen Wu, Janelle Palomaris, Warren Chang, Emma Hobson, Karen Yamamoto, Ray Bell Ramos and Damon White for producing today's ceremony. There's a lot that goes in behind the scenes to make an event like this happen. And, and you've just been so incredible with your dedication and professionalism. So if you can give them a, a vir virtual thumbs up or a, or a you know, high, high five, that would, be, that would be wonderful. Okay, it's uh, now my pleasure to introduce our CDHA president, Darla Dale. President Dale received her Bachelor of Science degree in dental hygiene from the University of Southern California in 1985 and received her RDHAP certificate from University of Pacific in 2004. She worked in private practice for 20 years, opening her dental hygiene practice in January 2005 and became the dental consultant coordinator for the Redwood Coast Regional Center. She has, received, she has served several terms as trustee to the California Dental Hygienists Association as well as vice president for two years and now president of CDHA. She currently practices in Eureka, California, primarily providing dental hygiene care to patients with special needs. Please welcome President Darla Dale with her remarks from your professional organization. President Dale, thank you. Good morning. Um, I wanna make sure I'm unmuted here. Um, I bring um, special greetings um, to you from the California Dental Hygienist Association. And I would like to congratulate you all for making this um, journey and also your achievements in getting this far in your dental hygiene education. 35 years ago, I sat where you do today, um, completing my bachelor of science degree in dental hygiene at the University of Southern California. At that time, many of you um, weren't even born yet. I think all of you weren't even born yet. But at that time, we were also facing a very challenging era in dentistry, the AIDS epidemic. We were confident then that our education had prepared us for what would lie ahead, not only in our careers, but providing optimum care for our patients in a time of uncertainty. Today, I would like to acknowledge your, and your struggle through a very trying time currently and this past year in having to complete your education in the COVID-19 pandemic. You too should be confident that your education has prepared you to make the professional decisions necessary to become the best healthcare provider you can be in these unprecedented times. I am very passionate about the profession of dental hygiene, which explains why I've been doing it for 35 years. And I hope that you will all find or have already acquired that passion too. I would like to give you a few tips from the Business News Daily to help you love what you do. Surround yourself with supportive people. Find mentors. Focus on yourself. Start slow. Make excuses to follow your dreams. Make time to make it happen. Be realistic, find ways to validate your decisions, discover how to profit from your passion, and finally, be patient. Again, congratulations, good luck, 
And I encourage you to all continue your membership in the California Dental Hygienist Association, not only as a professional dental hygienist, but as a future leaders for CDHA. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. Thank you, President Dale, for um, those uh, insp inspiring words and, and the um, encouragement to stay involved with the organization. That's, that's very important. And leadership is a strong core value of, for, of ours in the Dagomi School. Thanks for all that you do for the profession. So now I'd like to invite uh, Professor Lori Lauder to announce our dental hygiene white coat recipients and uh, thank Professor Lauder for her leadership and the entire team and what they do for our students and for our school. Professor Lauder. Thank you, Dean. Melinda Bedoya. Vanessa Bongan. Alessandra Rebecca Blaxun Castaneda. Tara Jean Amasian. Sarme Felicity Farjafard. Emily Fung. Javier Raul Simpson Green. Kimberly Kip. Joella Kobachi. Stefano Yahi Litran. Siyun Li. Elizabeth McCarty. Justin Aaron Merrill. Tracy Wynn. William Wynn. Edwin Nolasco. David Un Pham. Momina Rahman. Allison Movila Puyawan. Alyssa Tadora. Taylor Williams. And Crystal Yu. Wonderful, congratulations and thank you, Professor Lauder. It's now my pleasure to uh, invite Professor Chris Newco to lead the recitation of the professional oath. Class of uh, 2021, please recite the oath along with Professor Newco, <laughs> while you're still muted. Professor Newco. Yes, thank you very much, Dean Nadashahi. Yes, please stay muted, but read along and follow along with me, please. In light of all I hold sacred, in the presence of my family, friends, and teachers, I, pledge to fulfill my obligations as a member of the dental profession. My responsibility is to promote the health of the community and the persons I serve. The health of my patients will be my first commitment. My privileges depend upon the trust of my patients. I will not violate that trust. I will respect all that is confided in me. I will do no harm. 
I will honor my patient's dignity. I will be their zealous advocate, guided by their will, sensitive to their feelings, needs, and thoughts. I respect and cherish the lives of all persons. I will not discriminate against any person in my decisions and care. I recognize the limits of my competence. I will seek the knowledge and inspiration of my colleagues whenever my patient's needs require. I will strive to improve the knowledge and skills I profess to have. I am responsible for contributing to an improved community. I will strive to prevent disease and to correct adverse social conditions. I will serve as both a teacher and a role model for my patients, my successors, and the public. I am responsible for upholding my profession's integrity. I will strive to counsel those deficient in character or competence and expose those who engage in fraud or deception. I will not use my medical knowledge in any way contrary to the laws of humanity. With this oath, I willingly assume these responsibilities. If I honor this oath, may I be granted fulfillment and joy in my practice of the arts of dentistry, respected while I live, and remembered with affection thereafter. Thank you, Professor Anuko, and uh, congratulations again. I could see many of you were, were uh, following along and you, you followed instructions well, that's great. Um, so uh, let me be one of the first to offer my personal congratulations to you. The faculties and staff at the dental school and all of your loved ones and supporters are so very proud of you. Your passion for helping others and growing your skills has brought you to this point let that passion continue to motivate and drive you in the rest of your personal and professional lives. Our field enjoys a strong reputation as a trusted profession. That's because of the integrity shown by those that have come before us. It's now your responsibility to carry the torch of the profession. The future of oral health care is in your hands with the integrity, ethics, courage, and commitment to excellence by which you live your life every day from this point forward. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived, this is to have succeeded. You certainly will touch many lives. I know that you will succeed greatly and the future of our great profession shines even brighter than ever because of you and what you will do in your lives and your careers. So thank you and congratulations again on behalf of the entire Dagoni School family. Class of 2021, please uh, make sure your videos are on. Uh, unmute yourselves and uh, I want to hear all of you celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you.